So this is the first episode of Doug Talks Weird, which is, um, as the title suggests, Doug, that being me, Doug Bolden, talking about weird fiction, horror fiction, ghost stories, horror novels, horror movies, etc. I'm a librarian, I'm a huge horror fan, and my intro to horror was varied in that the first horror movie I can remember watching was Nightmare on Elm Street, and the first horror book I can really remember reading would have been Stephen King's Carrie, but those two weren't the ones who really drove me to be a horror fan. What drove me to be a horror fan were three different things, Night of the Living Dead. Now, originally I saw the color version of it, um, and I don't remember how old I would have been, probably shortly after it came out, so I'm guessing 13 or 14, and the ending, which I won't spoiled completely, but in which a smart, intelligent character who you've identified with for quite a bit is killed by a mindless mob really just kicked me in the pants. So then I went and saw the black and white version, and then when I watched it, I thought I was going to hate it because it was black and white, and I was a teenager, but it turned out, no, I absolutely loved it. It was moody. Um, I could feel, I could kind of taste the horror, which was something I hadn't quite experienced. Then a little bit later on, I checked out a copy of The Dunwich Horror and Others um, by Lovecraft, which is an arc of horror title. Uh, not this specific one, though I've had this one now for getting close to 20 years, but a, an older edition of it. And I read through it and absolutely loved his writing. I loved the stories in it and was completely hooked. At the time, I didn't know a lot about Lovecraft outside of just things I had heard. And so uh, this book was sort of just out of the blue. I had no prior knowledge of things like Cthulhu, Meyer Lethotep, Azathoth. So I was going into it essentially blind. This is would have been you know slightly before I would have had access to the internet. I wouldn't have been able to look it up. But it kind of drove me to want to look up more and... You know, it's been ups or downs. Lovecraft's one of those where you read his first handful of good stories and you can fall completely in love with him and you read some of his expanded canon, which includes some not-so-good stories. And so the other book I read, and I don't really remember when, it made a massive impact on me. I don't quite remember when it fit in there, though, was Stephen King writing as Richard Bachman, The Long Walk. A group of young men have to walk. And... If they slow down too often, they get shot in the head, and the last man alive wins some massive prize, a allegory to the Vietnam War, and it's probably the first single thing that really invoked in me what I would consider a sensation of cosmic horror. So those three things, the, the Dunwich Horror and others, The Long Walk, Night of the Living Dead, all coalesced in me a sensation of what I wanted out of horror. So what is this? So Doug Talks Weird. The idea just came to me one day. I was listening to probably Podcast of the Curious, which is a podcast dedicated to M.R. James's ghost stories and some of his other writings. And I was thinking like, well, you know, it'd be kind of fun if maybe I did something about uh, Lord Dunsany. And then I got to thinking like, well... I would enjoy talking about some of Lord Dunsany's stories, but the general method for these podcasts are to take stories by a single writer and then go, you know, story one, story two, story three, story four. But I don't think I have an interest in, say, taking one writer and just over-examining them. What I'm kind of interested in is sort of horror, weird fiction. These elements all, they're how they tie to broader literary movements, sociological movements, or philosophical movements. Uh, I realize I would want to cover writers like Aikman, Larry Barron, Will Pogmire, Reggie Oliver, Lovecraft, Dunsany, uh, Algernon Blackwood, like Arthur C. Clarke, uh, definitely people like Ramsey Campbell. I want to talk about um, all of them. And I don't have any specific format that I want to talk about all of them in.
So some days I kind of want to talk about, say, a specific story, and I want to kind of analyze it, pull out a few of its bigger pieces, and, and chew on them a little bit. Some days I want to, say, maybe take a couple of stories and look at their similarities. Some days I want to take some trope that shows, across, shows up in a lot of different stories. I want to take, like, a movie and just look at one specific scene and discuss what's good about that scene or what's bad. This is why I wanted to do Doug Talks Weird, because it's a format that I can sort of change on the fly, and I can make sing for me in certain ways, and hopefully in ways that other people will enjoy, because I'm going to make it a passion project. I'm going to actually bring in ways to sort of research information about horror. It's going to be a little bit of a teaching exercise in places. And then I'm just going to try to make it and keep it interesting. I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to probably start with, my plan right now is to start with maybe three short stories. Okay, some elements of what you can expect. Right now my plan is to make the episodes 5 to 15 minutes long. I'm going to aim for about 7 to 9 minutes. The episodes will, probably, will cover, as I said, horror, weird fiction, strange fiction, ghost fiction, possibly some stuff like mystery and hard-boiled noir stuff, things that kind of have some similar flavors. There will be a couple of features for an episode, such as the spoiler bar, which you'll see here's one where there's no spoilers, and here's one where there's maybe lots of spoilers. So there'll be a spoiler bar that'll pop up as I'm introducing the story to let you know if it's something you haven't read or something you haven't seen, if you can be safe to see it, this episode about it, before you watch it or read it, etc. Beyond that, everything else is a little bit, you know, up in the air. Maybe there'll be some sound clips or some music clips. Maybe I'll have a guest. I have no idea. And we'll just kind of find out. I'm going to aim for maybe once a week. No idea which day of the week just yet. We'll kind of see which one works best for me. My first episode, which will be the actual true episode one, uh, expect to see that maybe this weekend. And it's going to be covering a Larry Barron short story from his first collection, and it's going to allow me to talk about what is and isn't a fainting protagonist, and it's going to allow me to talk about the nature of what makes something Aikman-esque. Uh, and I'll see you soon.